Hi there and welcome back to the Stay at Home series of ukulele lessons provided by South Tyne Tide Council. So thanks for tuning into lesson two this week. Now in this lesson we are going to be briefly recapping lesson one and combining all of our knowledge and applying it to this lesson. So in this lesson we're going to learn a new chord. I'm going to learn how to chord movement. We're going to be learning how to change from chord to chord and really up our ukulele playing. So in lesson one, we first looked at the different parts of the ukulele. So remember we went over different parts such as the headstock, the neck and the body. We then moved on to tuning. Now if you haven't tuned your ukulele, I would advise that you do that right now. So you can either watch the pre-recorded video of this or remember it just tunes to G, C, E and A. We then moved on to how to hold the ukulele correctly. We took our left hand, we held the back of the neck, we laid on its side, we put the body against our body and rested our right hand on the bottom. This is how you should hold the ukulele. We then moved on to how to strum the ukulele. Like I said, you could use your thumb, down strumming with that thumb, or you could use the tip of your finger using the nail strumming down. We also strum to the beat, which we are going to be looking at again this lesson. And last but not least, we looked at our chords. Now our chords were, they were just individual notes played together at the same time to create a bigger sound. Last week, we looked at the C chord. Now, if you remember, we played the C chord without the third finger, the third fret of that last string. If you have forgotten any of that, there's no harm in just going back to lesson one and quickly going through it just to recap. So in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at a new chord. Now this chord works perfectly the C, and this chord is F. So remember, our chords went from A all the way to G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So just to demonstrate, our C chord sounds like this. And our F chord sounds like this. Two chords go really nicely together. Okay, so I'm now going to get a little bit closer to the camera so you can see uh, where the fingers go for this F chord. Okay, so now that we're a little bit closer to the camera, we're now going to go over the F chord. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we remember our finger numbers. So we had our thumb, which always goes behind the neck, and then we had finger one, two, three, and four. What we're going to do now is just quickly put the hand diagram on the screen just to make sure that you definitely remember which finger is which. So as you can see from that, we are having our thumb behind the neck and our other fingers are playing different chords. So our C chord looks like this, third finger, third fret. Now today, the F chord is going to look a little bit different. We are not using our finger three, we are using our fingers one and two. So our thumb behind the neck, finger one and finger two. So that's our pointing finger and our middle finger. So now that we understand that this F chord is using finger one and finger two, we're just going to quickly go over the frets that we'll be using. So remember in our first lesson when I was talking about the frets, the frets are the little metal bars that go across the neck. Now, we do actually play in between these frets. We play in the gaps. So for this F chord, we are using frets one and frets two, nothing else. So I'm now gonna show you how to play this F chord. Now, our thumb is gonna go behind the neck at around the first, in between the first and second fret. Our second finger, which is our middle finger, is gonna stretch right across to the opposite side of the ukulele. 
right to the top side to our first string we are going to be using the tips of our fingers just like we did with our C chord to ensure that we need to make sure that our fingers are nice and arched over they come right across we're not lying them flat they are nice and arched over so we're going to be using the tip of that finger second finger and we're going to go on to our second fret one two so that's top string first string second finger second fret pressing down with the thumb behind the neck we're next going to take our first finger and we're going to go down two strings to the third string so we have one two three so that is going to be on our third string so finger number one is going to go on our, on our first fret first gap on our third string so we have second finger second fret first finger first fret pressing down with the tips of them fingers once you have your fingers in the in that position you just have to make sure that your thumb is behind the neck and we're squeezing down on them strings not too hard but hard enough that when we strum the ukulele we don't have any deadened strings so if i wasn't if i was pressed down not hard enough it would sound like this my strings wouldn't ring they wouldn't resonate so we need to press down on the strings and it should sound like this so the ukulele opens sounds like this with our f chord second finger second fret first finger first fret third string So what you can do now is repeat that section of the video to make sure that you're definitely getting this F chord. So now that we've looked at the F chord and you've practiced it, make sure that you practice it. We are now going to look at how to move from the C chord to the F chord. This is what we call chord movement. The whole idea of playing ukulele is to be able to move in between chords. Chords are essentially just building blocks of songs. So in the next few lessons, we will be learning some songs with these chords. So like I said, we're going to learn how to move from C to F. But we're actually going to, by the end of this lesson, make sure that we can play the C chord to a beat and change. So next I'm going to just get a little bit closer to the screen just to make sure that you can see and we're going to learn how to move from the C chord to the F chord. Okay so now that I'm a little bit closer to the screen you can see my fingers and you can see the frets. We're now going to learn how to move from C to F. We're not going to be playing to the beat we're just going to learn how to move from C shape to the F shape. So we're just going to start on the C. Now our C chord is our third finger third fret last string now the reason why we use finger three for the C chord and not finger one even though it sounds the same is because the third when the third finger is on the third fret fingers one and two are now free to move over to the next chord so we have our finger three on our C chord and we can then move over to our F chord. So second finger, second fret, first finger, first fret, third string. And just taking that third finger off. So we have C. Over to our F. So third finger, third fret. Then moving over, second finger, second fret, first string. First finger, first fret, third string, so our F chord, C, F. What I want you to do is give that a go. I'm not too bothered about the speed yet, but that will come eventually. 
So just give that a go. C. C. F. And back again. C. Over to the F. First finger first fret C. Second and first finger F. understand how to move from our C chord to our F chord. What we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to strum the two chords to the beat and move within the beat. So we're going to take that chord movement and put it in within the beat. So just to recap what the beat is, it's the pulse of the song. It's the speed at which the song is played. For quick demonstration would be one, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four. Remember, it can be faster or it can be slower. The faster you do this, the harder it is going to be. So we're going to just take it slow first, and then we're going to slowly speed it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to strum our C chord four times, and then we're going to move to the F chord and strum that four times. Now it's important that you move in between beat four and beat one when you are moving from the C to the F. So it should sound like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four. You will notice that you will probably stop in between each chord. So, so you will be doing this, one, two, three. do is try shorten that gap in between the chord change and that's what we're going to work on right now. So if you're ready we're going to play C chord four times and try and move over to the F and strum that four times. We're going to take it nice and slow just to start off with. So after four here we go. One, two, three, four. C, two, Now what you can do is just quickly repeat that part just to make sure that you get a little bit of practice before we move on to the next speed. What we're going to do now is just speed that up a little bit just so you start to get a little bit more confident with these chord movements. So starting on C, after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, So it's always important that you practice your ukulele outside of this lesson time. Make sure that you learn how to speed up these chord changes, moving from that C chord to the F chord. Remember, if your ukulele isn't sounding too good and the strings are sounding a little bit dead, what you need to do is make sure that you press down to the tips of them fingers. And when we move over to our F, we need to make sure that our fingers are nice and arched over and not flat. Make sure that you're using the tips of them fingers with the thumb behind the neck. So next lesson, we will be looking at another chord, making sure that we can move in and out of these three different chords. And we'll be looking at something different called major and minor chords. So make sure that you always practice. And thanks for tuning in today. And I will see you in the next lesson.